Hi, everybody. Um, this is Lori Young, and I run the Daily Gratitude to Helen group. And I am here with Shandy Capel, who runs the Anenu to Helen group. And we are good friends because we like to share um, events together and lectures together. And um, I'm here today. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about my group. And Shani's going to tell you a little bit about her group, and we're going to tell you how it really affects what we're doing now for Israel. So the daily gratitude to Helen group is very special. We say once on the day, and thanks to Hashem for all the blessings we do have in our life. And I send out an email every day with our to Helen of the day. You can say it if you want. If you don't have time, it's fine. You can catch up if you want. If you don't have time, it's there's no obligation in our Tehillim group. It's just the idea that we want to say to Tehillim proactively so Hashem ha doesn't have to remind us to say to Tehillim. Okay? So, but with what's going on in Israel right now, we are on day 50 of the war. And um, what's on our mind right now is what can we do for Israel? What can we do for Israel? And I feel like when I'm saying my gratitude to Helen, really, I want it to be to Helen for Israel. Like, okay, I appreciate everything you do for me, Hashem, but really to Helen to be used for Israel. And because I know Shandy, she has a very special group and they meet twice a day by telephone. And it only takes six to seven minutes to say to him for Eretz Yisrael. And she's going to explain the beginnings of her group and everything they're doing now, which is amazing. And you can find them at anenu.org. And okay, Shady, anenu.com, A-N-E-I-N-U.com. Okay, we'll put it in the comments too. Okay, right. so go ahead, tell them, Shady, tell them what you guys are doing because I love joining you. Um, I only join you once a day for six or seven minutes to say those real special to him. So go ahead. So beautiful, Laura, beautiful. I, I'm your sister. We're sisters together. And as Laura says, we all want to do something. We all have to do something. It's not that we want, we have to. Ladies, if you were born in this generation, that means Hashem chose your soul to be here because he knows we can do it. And one important, there's a lot of important things that I'm going to try to keep it short. The Hassam Seifer Wright wrote, he was born in 1760, died somehow in the 1800s. Okay, how many years ago? World Wars are wonderful opportunities to bring Mashiach. We need to daven for Mashiach. Hashem ish mochama, Hashem is running the war. It's not Hamas, it's not Israel, it's not America, it's Hashem. And we need to daven for Mashiach. And the tool that we have is Tehillim. And one, th one point that I've been making since the war started is we are soldiers. We are soldiers just like those soldiers in Gaza. Hashem needs our Tehillim to make this war victorious. And we have to choose our battalion. Tehillim, Chesed, whatever you want, but each of us is a soldier and we can never forget it. So what Aneno has, which works in perfectly um, for this time, and we've we've been doing this since the Gaza War of 2019. Thank you, Hashem, that we've got this in place and that we're doing it. We say seven chapters of Tehillim every single day at 1.15 and at 8.30. They're always the same chapters. Um, you could email me and I will give you the chapters so you know them before you come on the line. It's shandy at uh, 36 at gmail. And we say it every day and we say achenu. And achenu is such a powerful tefillah because we say in that tefillah, Hashem, redeem the hostages. It's written there. When was achenu written? I don't know how many hundreds, thousands of years ago. It's so apropos. Every day, 1.15 and 8.30 and 9 o'clock Matzah Shabbos. And ladies, the point of Tehillim is we know that we come to Tehillim in an ace sorrow when things are difficult. And of course we should. But the primary reason David Amel wrote Tehillim is for us to say it on a continuous basis. Say it before you need it. It's a protection policy. Any Tehillim we say before we even need it, like the Daily Gratitude Group, what they've been saying every day before this war it goes somewhere in heaven. It's store for you. Imagine a star system in first grade. Imagine meat in your freezer. Imagine money in the bank. Any simile you want, that is stored for you. And it goes for your family, even though now you're saying to Hillam for Israel, for the hostages, 
It's for your family also. Don't even have no doubt about it. But what we need to remember is that Hashem uses our Tehillim. It's the fuel he uses to make the world a better place. We're saying it for someone in in Eretz Yisrael. We're saying it for Israel. He's taking it and maybe he's saving somebody from some kind of a bad situation in France. We don't know that. We have no idea. But Hashem, here's the fuel. Hashem, you need the fuel. Here's the fuel. And so when we get together with Anenu, we're saying it together in a group, which is powerful. A group has more merits than an individual. And we're doing it on a continuous basis. Continuity is huge. Hashem loves continuity. That means, what does it mean? You're always thinking of Hashem. Oh, it's 1.15, I've got to join. Not that, ladies, I'm asking you to join every single day, twice a day. But if it's in your mind, like, I'd like to join, but I can't, that counts. That counts. And Hashem wants us, what's the whole point of what is Hashem doing? He wants us to get closer to him. That's that's what he wants. And ladies, no tefillah goes um, unanswered. And we learned this from Avram Avinu when he davened for Stum. He could have started with 10 men. He could have said, Hashem, if there's 10 men, well, you save the city. Because he knew from less than a tzibur, a minion, Hashem's not saving it. And why did he start at 50? He just spent 30, 45 minutes of Hashem's time asking for something that was not even feasible. So the Maral Midiskan says it wasn't to save Saddam. Moabra knew Saddam couldn't be saved, but he says in all the generations since then, we have piggybacked off of Avram Avinu's tefillah in Saddam that was stored away, just like our tilm stored away. And every time that we're in a tzara, Hashem goes back and takes a little bit out of Avram Avinu's tefillah for Saddam. And that's what Hashem does for our, our tehillim. Our tehillim, ladies, is so, so powerful. We are soldiers. When you say it, mean it. Think about it. Imagine we were a mother, God forbid, we were a mother of a soldier in Gaza. I mean, we would sit there and we would be crying over this Tehillim. We're not, we don't have the time, but show Hashem you care. That's what he wants. He wants us to care. And Mitz Hashem, he should answer our tefillahs soon, soon with Mashiach. And Amen. the return of the hostages and only good things. Amen. Yes. Amen. And Laura, oh, I, I love I... your daily gratitude to Tehillim. It's awesome. It's awesome. And I, and Hashem, and I say thank you. And you know what the point is of daily gratitude? Thank you, Hashem. I want more. Nothing wrong with that. I recognize the good. I want more. It's all good. You know, that's what my husband taught me actually about brachas in the morning. Is we're thanking Hashem every day for the same things. Why? Because yes, we recognize you're giving us all these blessings and we want more. We want you to continue. We're not just right. Right, and that is so beautiful that we have these these vehicles. Um, right, you were saying something very special about the connection with um, Tehillim and Hashem, and David Amel. Yes, it's a very beautiful point that David Amel that we could go into it. David Amel actually says in Tehillim, "Ainly Avi, Ainly Evni." He said, "I don't have parents for whatever reason." His parents thought he was illegitimate. He didn't have family. He said to Hashem, everybody has family. Look at these hostages, this little girl, four years old. He doesn't have parents. Everybody has family. God created the world with family. He, David said, I don't have family. Hashem, you be my father. I will be your son. And Rabbi Rabinowitz from Eretz Yisrael wrote, what is Tehillim? It's the love flowing between David HaMelech and Hashem, between Hashem and David HaMelech. And it's the umbilical cord connecting us and we are and David Amel gave us this vehicle he gave us this umbilical cord this love between Hashem and and now and now B'nai Yisrael and and Hashem loves to heal him Hashem loves to heal him so we have to remember that thank you Shandy I'm so excited you finally had some time to make a, a, right. a video I, on I, this I, and I everybody go to anenu.com and and see the and right there you'll see the times it's right. eastern time and right. it'll have the phone number um and the code to get in and i'll i'll see you, and I'll, feel I'll free to you. it's on the phone email. it's on the phone it's right. easy it's, on the phone. it's easy that's right thank and you Shady. All, you're very welcome and keep up your good work keep up thank your good you. work you too